Hey guys, today's video is going to be kind of a fashion video which I've never done before. I've had a fashion post, like outfit of the day post on my blog, uh, which I've, I didn't do in a while, but um, I should get back to this. But today I'm going to review a Mooncats scarf, which I'm going to show you in a second how it looks like exactly. Mooncats is a online shop. I'm going to link their website below on the description bar. And um, their shop is kind of an like, online accessory shop, so they have hats, scarves, a um, bunch of really nice stuff like this, um, gloves as well. And um, they've contacted me and asked me if I want to review their stuff. And I went online because I don't say yes to every company that contacts me, if that makes sense. But uh, I've seen that they have really nice stuff there. They look like a really kind of high-end, good company. So they've sent me this cashmere scarf which looks like this and it feels so nice I mean it's cashmere you know but it feels so nice it has these little things at the end this little stuff and it's pretty long and then it has kind of a moon cats thing right here that says moon cats in gold which I think it's really cute and really nice it's really really well made I didn't expect it to be really that good quality and I saw that the prices are pretty expensive but I, I can see why it's really really made well and I'm going to have a 30% off coupon code on the description bar below this video and the code is makeup it out freak 30 off and they were really nice as to give this code to my viewers I'm super excited for that because it is really worth the money because it is really really well made and it looks really good and I feel like this scarf is going to last forever uh, for years and years to come and 30% off is a lot so this is really really cool so if you want to check that out it's going to be on the description bar below this video as I said so today I'm going to show you five different ways to wear your cashmere scarf and if you like this kind of video and you want to see more fashion videos maybe for clothes or different ways to wear different things then let me know in the comments below so let's just jump right into it the first way is the very simple way the easiest way which I think a lot of people, most of people wear their scarves like this is to take it from the front and just wrap it around your neck and then take the two ends from the back tie them to the front so I just took it you can see like that just took the both ends and took them to the front which is a really cute way to wear a scarf in my opinion this is probably the basic the most basic way but it's also the easiest way just to wrap it around your neck and just throw it on yourself it looks really nice and it also warms up your neck which I think is really important when wearing a scarf because a scarf is not only an accessory but also to warm you up and keep you warm during the winter time of course after that you can just take them and if your scarf is long enough just throw it to the back and have it like that as well so you have it like this but I think this way is a lot nicer the second way is also pretty easy and it looks really fancy in my opinion you take your scarf and just fold it in half like this just fold it in the center and then wrap it around your neck from the back and then when you come to the front just take these ends and put it put them inside this little hole that you have in this hand and then just pull and then you have a really nice way like this so this looks kind of hangy and really dangly and nice but then it also again warms up your scarf and it's not too long so if you don't like when your scarf hangs too too long this is a really nice way to wear it a little bit shorter so it comes kind of to my belly button right there and it's pretty short but it looks really fancy and warms up your neck as well so the third way is probably my most favorite way to wear this. I love infinity scarves and if you have a cashmere scarf or a scarf that is not infinity scarf, you can always make one. So you just take both ends and tie them together. You don't have to really, really tie them. Uh, if I'm going to wear the infinity scarf all day long and I want, don't want it to move, I would even take like little pieces of these dangly things and I just kind of rub them together. You can tie them, you can do one, you can do two and tie them together or you can just hold it like that and then take the other end, twist it, so if we have it like that, you twist, so you get kind of an infinity, infinity scarf, infinity sign, like an eight 
and then you take both ends together like this and then you have an infinity scarf form and you just take it over your head and you can leave it like that and I like to wear this infinity scarf like this sometimes and to just leave my hair inside the infinity scarf but um, you can also just take it out and wear it like this which is a really cool way to wear a scarf I find I really like this way the infinity scarf thing it's just my thing I don't know why I really like it and again it's this is a good way to wear your scarf if you don't like it to be hanging too too long so the fourth way is a little bit more complicated but it's really nice and looks really elegant in my opinion so you take your scarf and you just fold it in half so this is kind of half of the width of the scarf if that makes sense and um, so it will just match kind of the length of your neck a little bit more so it won't be too too width or too too wide and then you're going to take it from the back and what we're going to do is to tie it almost like a men's tie so you take it from the back then you're going to crisscross it and then you take the upper part that's on the top and just wrap it underneath the bottom end of the scarf take it from here just pull it and you can see it looks almost like a man's tie and then you leave this one on top then you can kind of take the ends upwards just shape it the way you want it to be this one comes underneath I like the bottom parts to show so I take this one a little bit to the side so you can see the bottom side as well and this is how it looks like so it's really nice I think it looks really elegant and this is for those of you who like the long scarf way because you do have these ends of the scarf just hanging down but it looks So the last way is going to be kind of a combination of the first, which is the easiest way, and the fourth one, which I just showed. So we're going to fold the scarf to get half of the width, like we did in the fourth way. But this time we're going to start from the front, like we did in the first way. So I'm going to start it from the front, take the two ends from the back, crisscross it, take it to the front. And then I'm going to tie it like I did on the fourth way. So we get the same elegant effect, really nice in my opinion. It's going to be kept a little bit more warm because we have this first layer of it and these dangly things are going to be a lot shorter. So if you like the fourth way but you don't like the long look of the scarf, you can go to this uh, way. And then what I like to do is I like to take it a little bit to the side with this way. You can do it with any way, with all of the methods I just showed you, you can always take it and kind of twist it to the side but I like it especially with this look because I find that on the side it looks a little bit more elegant, a little bit more kind of gives it a little bit more of an effect and looks a little bit more feminine in my opinion I don't know if that makes sense but that's how I think and I really like how it looks like so that's it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to check out their website, the link is going to be down below in the description bar of this video along with the 30% off coupon code if you want to purchase something to save yourself some money and the 30% off coupon code by the way is um, available for all the merchandise, all the things on their website, so that's cool. Thank you so much to Mooncats for sending me this scarf, I really really enjoy it and I see myself looking for more stuff on their website because um, I was really pleasantly surprised with the quality of the scarf. So I hope you have a wonderful weekend, don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on all the social network sites, all of the links are going to be down below in the description bar as always and I'm going to talk to you all next Friday, bye!